Okay, once you get your coon skinned, you grab flushing knife, sharp side, dull side. Now this head and this back of the neck portion is the miserable part on raccoon. You just put the sharp side gently. No slicing motion here, just start pushing the fat off. Side of the face. Kind of piddly painstaking work, but it has to get done. If you don't do the animal properly, you lose your grades on it and lose all your money that you're trying to make on it. Okay, and you go between the ears, lay them down, and now, take the sharp side. And if at all possible, always just try to push with the knife. The more slicing you do, that's when you have your chance of putting holes in it. This, the rest of them is actually not too bad. And just keep turning. Oops. Very gentle on the belly side. Get down into the back here, and it will start peeling a lot easier and nicer for you. And gently put him on the beam, switch to the dull side, and just push it off again.
raccoon are typically really fatty animals. So even after your own, it's on the board, a day later or so, go by with a, an old rag or a paper towel, and give them a wipe. It'll start to glisten with fat. Once you give them a wipe once, then you're done. You should be good after that. You don't have to get right here to the end of the feet. When you put them on the beam, or sorry, on the board, you're going to trim that little bit of the, the last little bit of that foot off anyway, just to clean up the edge. Okay. Now the feet are done. And we just start going around in circles here, using our dull side, just pushing it up. That is almost like we did with the legs there. Use it as a kind of a little holder. Go all around that. Okay, then back to the rest of them. So that belly's done now side of the belly here. And back up to his back. Legs are a little bit miserable sometimes. Just plain simple practice. Um, I don't catch many raccoons, but once you flush, you know, a couple hundred coyotes, you'll get a feel for it, or flush some beavers, you'll get a feel for it. Whatever you're doing, you know, you'll get a feel for it, and every animal is a little easier, but a little different. And then I take this old throwing knife, I used to have two little. Anyway, what I did was I sharpened this side sharp, sharp, and this side is dull. I just put it right down on the belt and just sand it or flat. Okay, this is what I used to split my tails. So you take the tail now, and all I do is just start running it up. As I get it started here, there. Just run it to the tip of the tail, and that's split all the way down. And now, flesh both sides of the tail and that last little bit on the back okay now here's a little trick take your raccoon badger whatever anything that you have to flush the tail Put them on the beam backwards. It's a little bit balancing act. 
flesh these tails backwards from the tip to the front. If you try to go the other way, you will inevitably tear that tail off or you won't get it flushed properly. And I'm putting a lot of oomphah into this one here. Okay? And flush. Don't worry about that last little bit of fur there. That's not harming nothing. And flush good and hard. Make sure she's good and clean. Right to the edge. Here's the edge of the tail now. This edge here. And that's it. There's a fleshed raccoon waiting to go on the board now. And that video is up already. It's a few months old, but the video is there. So kind of put the cart before the horse and flesh the put the video up skinning them first before that. So anyway, that's a nice prime raccoon ready for the board. This guy's just going to go in the freezer and he'll get put on the board next year.